Have you ever wondered how a bunch of foreign merchants who came on ships became the rulers of India? Hey, this is your buddy Pritam and today we are going to talk about the East India Company. For those of you who are still scratching your heads about how they did it, let me tell you a story. It all started back in the year 1498 when a Portuguese explorer named Vasco da Gama reached the Indian shores of Calicut, Koipore. Later, the European traders followed him for a profitable spice trade. In the year 1600, Queen Elizabeth of Great Britain issued a charter for a group of merchants to trade to the Indian and South Asian lands, which was called the East India Company. Within 10 years, more factories opened up in Calcutta, Madras and Bombay, Bombay being the headquarters. India was soon divided in three presidencies. The company was however corrupt and drained their profits, which increased the need to collect high revenues. Peasant landowners were forced to pay huge taxes. Failure to do so resulted in seizure of the land. There was a widespread discontent and anger. 1757, a military force led by Robert Clive defeated the army of the last powerful Nawab of Bengal, Siraj Dullah, in the famous Battle of Lhasa. to 1858. Finally, after the Indian Sepoy meeting, the government assumed direct control and the East India Company was dissolved. History is all about dates and I know you guys struggle with it. So let's have a recap. 1498. Vasco da Gama reaches India. 1600. Queen Elizabeth issues a charter. 1670. Sir Thomas Rowe approaches Emperor Jahangir to build a factory in Surat. 1757 Sir Robert Clive defeated Siraj ud Dullah in the Battle of Plassey. 1784 East India Act came into power. 1857 After the Sepoy Mutiny, the East India Company was dissolved. So I hope you have learned a bit about East India Company and I wish you all the best for your upcoming exams. Goodbye.